If I'm totally done and ready for printing, what I'm going to do is go back to this menu and I'm going to choose 3D print. Uh, I made a mistake. Instead of 3D print, I'm going to choose export. Under export is the option for STL. STL is the kind of file that I need for my 3D printer to work. So we'll use this mesh tessellation setting. That just means how, um, how refined is your model? Is it real? Um, are we saving it on a real high density or just low density? And then you have to check this box that says combine objects. If you do not check this box, it'll come into an STL as like just a cylinder. It won't have any of the pieces that you've added. So you check combine objects, you click OK. You will save this into your folder. You should name it your first name, last name, and the color you want it to print in. Now, you obviously will not be printing this test guy. You'll just this was just for practice. So the saving method and naming it your first name, last name, and the color you want it to print in is just for the things your your logos that you'll actually want to print. So if you have any questions, please ask myself. You can ask Miss Sneathan, you can ask Mr. Hints. We will all be happy to help you and happy designing and good luck.